I've always been told that revitalizing the language and how I'm playing an important part in, I guess, revitalizing it and being the second or third or generation, whatever generation I'm going to be a part of. But for me, I feel like I'm pretty important because our language was beaten out of us. And once when it is back in, it's going to stay there for good. And I think it was about five years ago when I started learning the language. And it was back when I was in sixth grade. And like I took a liking to one of the teachers. His name was Archie. I liked his spirit. Just kind of the way he talked and how he was loud everywhere he went. And he didn't really care about what other people thought of him. I thought that was really interesting. And every time he would walk down the hallways, you would hear him sing like different songs, like mostly his songs though. You'd, you would hear him wherever you would go. So I mean, that's probably where I get most of my confidence from now, because I got so much inspiration from him. Chris Brighton, he, he was actually, he was like the teacher assistant for Archie. When one of my friends Isaiah released his song, I got there really late. Like I want to say like 40 minutes late. At the very, very end when everybody was drumming everybody out, I got there. And everybody but me got gifts, so. But Chris Bryden walked up to me with like a cedar armband and um, a wool headband and he gave it to me. And, and then he also, he was like, do you want to go paddle? And I was like, I was like, what? And then he handed me like this little paddle from behind his back. He like whipped it out like a sword and then he handed it to me and was like, go dance. And I was, like, I was like, what, dance? And he, like, he just handed me a paddle and I had no choice but to dance with the girls and I was the only boy out there. And then I remember the first domain I fully learned. I didn't get it from memory, but I like, knew how to say all the words and it made me feel pretty good. I remember Archie saying that he can tell of the people who didn't practice it and who did. And I remember thinking to myself, I was like, man, I gotta be a part of that. Uh, that's around the time where Miss Laux found me also and started giving me advice when I wouldn't need it or when I would ask for it. Miss Laux, like, I guess, kind of pulled me into her classroom, like, asking me when I'm gonna visit her again and in enticing me by giving me food by <laughs> going into her classroom and just talking to her so I wouldn't really like let go of the culture that I was learning. Another person who inspires me now is Suela. Suela has really influenced me to be more healthy and make healthier life choices. And when he would speak, he has like a very like fluid tone, like he knows what he's talking about. How I see my Twashu Tzid pathway is Archie is the one that showed me the path. Miss Laux is the one that is like the guiding light for my path. And Suela is the one paving the path for me. There's another teacher that inspired me to, I guess he's like more of like an uncle to me. His name is Carl. When he knows you can do something, he'll keep on asking you to do it over and over and over again. Every time he knows I can do something, he would ask me to do the same thing again and then again and again, whenever you need me to. I really appreciate him for that. I remember there was this one time when I was speaking in an assembly and I started stuttering, like I just started choking up. And then I heard Carl like say, you got this, and, like really loudly. And then that really gave me the, I guess, kick to get through the rest of it. After like the third year of doing Twa Shoot Seed, I started really seeing myself doing Twa Shoot Seed in the future. And there's, there's just something like cool about knowing a language that nobody else knows. Like you can go to anywhere and just say like whatever you want and nobody will know what it means. There's no way I'm gonna forget it either. Like, I'm already playing a pretty vital role and I feel like my role is nowhere even near being done and that there's something greater beyond high school.
I am Siyu Sitsa. I am part of the Piaup tribe. And I am finished. <laughs>